Oh. Today, children, we're going to be looking at penetration. What I have here is six ply, a bit of six ply um, board, just a bog standard piece of six ply. And I have one um, arrow, I'm going to use the same arrow all the way down the line. It's just got a, a it's 780 grain all said and done. It's got 300 grain fill tip on the end, nothing fancy, no, no sort of proper head or anything like that on it. It's just got a bog standard fill tip. And what we're going to look at, look at is dry penetration versus wet penetration or oiled or grease. And I'm going to use WD-40, tallow, because tallow is something that, that would have been around in the middle, middle ages and possibly would have been um, used. Well, they would, the, 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 the thinking is that um, when the arrows were ordered by the King of England to be sent to the Royal Armouries, the, the heads had to be steeled quite often and tallowed to keep them from rusting because a rusty you know if you've got a steeled head a sharp steeled head and it gets because it's they're carrying it around in damp conditions and everything like that and it will rust for a pastime if you cover them in tallow um that keeps a, the, the thing but what i would like to demonstrate here is that the difference between the penetration between a dry tip and a tip that has been lubricated and it is my opinion that a lot of the tests that have been done to show the penetration of arrows, um, they never seem to use lubricated tips or anything like that. To, to, to that. They use dry tips all the time. But I don't think medieval people were that stupid to not know that if you lubricate the, the tip of your arrow, the penetration is going to be greater. OK, so I've got no idea what the results are going to be like here today. And um, I am just going to start off um, with a dry arrow shot to get the, the baseline. Dry arrow shot to get the baseline. I'm using today, I'm using a, an 80 pound recurve bow, 80 pounds at 28 inches. I'm going to be doing a year. Um, Shooting off the knuckle, <laughs> if anybody wants to say, you know, using that bow wrong. Um, we're going to just see, and I'm just going to do the, the, the same draw each time, okay, which is going to be my maximum draw, okay, and whatever it is today, because it changes on a daily basis. Right, so here we go for the shot number one, the, the dry shot. And there we have it. Let's take the mountain to Mohammed. There we have it up close. And there we have it in there like that. Sorry about the low light conditions. And I will take you round the back to show you the... We can leave this out so we got to see it. And there it is there. And I'm gonna measure this and we'll we'll see how far that's gone through. It has penetrated the whole six ply and it's gone through and we will measure that to see how far that's gone through. And that one we had 20 mil sticking through on the dry one, 20, 20 mil, which is um, reasonable. Okay, now I'm going to get some WD-40 and we're going to shoot on the first one wet. WD-40. Arrow. <laughs> right, it's a quick squirt. Okay, so there's plenty of WD-40 on that arrow. And let's see what the penetration is like now.
And here we go to see the difference. There it is. As you can see, it has gone clean through and it is now sticking right out the other side. And we are looking at the first one we had 20 mil and this one is 110 mil. 113 mil. 113 mil all said and done. Okay. That's quite a lot. That's quite a, that's a huge improvement. Okay. So. Right. Now for the last one, I'm just cleaning off any residue of WD-40. And now it's dry. Yes, that's quite dry. And I have some tallow here. Um, don't ask me why I have tallow. I do. It's because, um, to be honest, uh, medieval, medieval arts and crafts. I'm. This is a glass studio that you're seeing here, actually. And uh, I'm just going to be putting covering covering this in a nice coating of tallow. There you go. That should be just about enough. And I can just put some on the on the shaft. And we're going to have another go. Right, the tallow. Let's see if that makes any improvement. Oh my god. Oh my god. Lovely, isn't it? The surprises you can get. Here we go. As you can see, there it is. All the way back. And what stopped it was the wood at the bottom frame at the bottom of the uh, target mat here that actually was carrying on that was stopped and that mark there is where the tip was okay so the penetration we got from the tallow is let's bring this around here put this over here 200 and Eight two hundred and eight mil, and there you go. It there's it there. Okay, two hundred and eight mil. So, and there you go. It there's it there. Okay, two hundred and eight mil. Conclusions. Dry, we got 20 mil. With WD-40 on it, we got 113 mil. With tallow, which is what medieval people would have they covered their tips with anyway to stop them rusting, we got 208 or eight and a quarter inches. 208 or eight and a quarter inches. It is my belief that everybody who's doing these penetration tests from arrows, you need to go back and rethink this a little bit and actually start lubricating your heads because the penetration is and that is, is that is another world and uh after we um you know think that's what all i can say is the proof of the pudding is in the eating peace and love people and keep going
I've moved the board back away and I'm going to retallow and just do one little extra shot to see how far it will actually go through because the arrow came out of there very very easily just pulled straight out like so and it was I noticed it was penetrated right up to where I finished tallowing so I'm going to just tallow the whole of the arrow and, and do it again uh, Once again, there we are looking at the arrow has gone through and hit the wooden frame and smashed through there. It is, I don't know if you can see it there, it has gone through there, through there, through there, through there, with tallow. Right, um, the, the, the conclusions again, second conclusions from that sort of set of tests. Um, the last arrow I sent through with tallow went through over 325 mil. I mean, it was the majority of it, and it smashed through the wooden frame of the, the artery mat that was stuck behind the wooden board and destroyed part of the wooden frame. And, you know, so the penetration on that from a dry arrowhead being 20 mil to a tallowed arrowhead, which blew, it blew the WD-40 out of the water as well. Um, the tallow, the penetration was several, several, several hundred percent more than dry. Now, all you guys doing dry penetration tests, might be a time just to rethink this and revisit it a little bit with some some form of lubrication on your arrows because you might find that your ability to penetrate things is much greater peace and love and have a good time thank you for watching and sub if you want subscribe if you want yeah cheers